Hey guys, Joss here. Look what we got here today. We got a new boat. It's the uh, Velas 29 Pro Boat. Super excited about this boat, guys. Um, it is a cat. I do already have a cat. However, this boat here, I believe, is going to be the perfect boat for me. So um, I'll explain that in a moment. Right now, I just want to get this thing out of the box and uh, we'll have a first look at it. Okay, wow. Look at the packaging in this thing, guys. Beautiful paint. Oh my gosh, look at that paint. It is shining, it's sparkling, looking good. Everything appears to be in good shape. Get all this stuff out here. Can't wait to get out, have a look at it. Okay, guys, we got it out of the box. Now, look, I'm super bummed here. Um, you can see it must have been during shipping. Some scraping there on the decal and on the paint there. So I'm not sure if that's going to be covered with warranty or if I, it's something I'm going to have to live with. It's kind of a bummer, though. It's beautiful looking paint and... Um, yeah, I got that little blemish on there. So I'm gonna have to find out about that later. The other thing was, is I couldn't find a boat stand in my box, but um, I just noticed it's all tucked in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. We'll get this thing up on the stand and uh, we'll have a closer look, see if we can find any other further damage on there. A little bit of a bummer, but um, not, not too big of a deal. Okay guys, it's been a few weeks since I recorded the first portion of this video and I just wanted to do a follow-up before I release it. So I did get in touch with Horizon Pro Boat. Um, they are going to send me out a brand new haul. So I might have a video on that, getting everything switched over to the new haul. But I think for today, because I do want to run this boat, um, I think we're just going to remove this sticker. Um, We'll just have to live with these for right now. But I think I'm going to take this sticker off. Maybe take these ones off. Just give it a cleaner look. And um, yeah, we'll get some batteries in this. And um, we're going to get this thing out in the water. Can't wait to give it a try. All right, we got the decals off there. I wanted to do a side-by-side -side of the... Vela's 29 and the Traxxas M41 because when I was looking at buying this boat I was kind of wondering how big it was compared to the M41 and I couldn't find any pictures or videos that were you know this close um, in comparison so just wanted to show you guys kind of the size difference there you can see if it's I got it lined up there but um little bit different not as long and that's kind of what I was talking about this being my perfect boat for me so this boat here I'm calling a calling it my Goldilocks boat and I'm hoping I'm hoping that this boat is going to be an all-around perfect boat because I mean guys I love the M41 but uh, to be honest, um, I don't really need a boat this fast anymore. I don't really need a 6S boat. You know, it's good, but you get a little bit of chop, um, you know, windy day or something, and the thing's going to fly up. It's pretty light in the front. This boat, it's fiberglass hull. It's a little bit heavier, lower center of gravity. I'm not going to get into anything too technical, guys. You guys can watch Big B. He's got some awesome videos, but he's lowered his battery tray, so I'm probably going to look at doing that. Um, but for today, we're just going to run through this thing. Just tighten up our, all our screws, get everything greased up, just kind of run it, see how it runs before we get it dialed in. But um, just wanted to show you guys a comparison there with the M41. So I don't know which is better. Let me know in the comments, guys. I haven't run the Velas 29 yet, so... Not sure. I know that it does, um, you know, I heard that it doesn't corner as well as the M41, but um, I'm probably only going to run this on a 4S. I'm probably not going to run a 6S on this, probably just 4S. So, yeah, I mean, I have 
high hopes for this boat. It, I love the look of it. It kind of reminds me of like a coupe or so, like a sports car. So it's just got nice proportions. And um, yeah, so I'm hoping that this is this is my Goldilocks boat. This is going to be my all around just go to boat when I just want to run to the lake and uh, just run a few laps or just uh, go for a cruise. That um, yeah, it's going to be my my go to number one boat. So we'll see so i just wanted to do that quick side by side comparison the next thing i want to see actually is um the trailer i want to see if this boat will fit on my trailer because obviously we're going to need to do a boat launch so i'm going to get the m41 off here and we'll get the trailer out and uh we'll see if it will fit on the trailer all right guys moment of truth this trailer is not really designed for a cat, but let's just see if we can make this work here. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe might be able to I think maybe if I put some foam or some padding on the fenders um, yeah I think we might be able to get that to work I think we'll be able to do a boat launch no problem one thing I want to show you guys as well is these are um, I got these straps from the dollar store and um, they're basically just a they're almost like a waistband they're stretchy um they've got velcro on them and they're awesome for towing your boat so i've got this boat on here there's not really anywhere i mean the boat can fall off if you're towing it around obviously you won't have these on there when you're doing the boat launch but um they're pretty pretty handy things to have um when you're towing different boats and things so let me get these strapped on here and show you Okay, and there we have it. It's all strapped in there. It's not going anywhere. We can tow that no problem. It doesn't look the greatest, but um, it's definitely more of a practicality thing um, when you're towing your boat around. So the next question is, what truck are we going to do our boat launch with?